2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to present today's event. Today's coverage of the Grayson Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, and alongside me in the booth is Rich Beam. Really looking forward to the action out there on the course today, Luke. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 180 yards. That's just inside the range. Butting for birdie. That one raced by. Bit of work coming back. Well, that's a no-fuss par to get the round underway, Rich. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He's currently tied for first. Time to tee off at the second. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Setting up in the first cut. Pretty good shot there. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. So no movement there. The player remains at even par. Teeing off here at the third hole. Ah, it's heading to the rough for mine. Yeah, this is the stuff we love, getting after this par five in two. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Ah, that's frustrating. And that should secure the par on this one. Uh, it never feels nice. A three putt par here. Currently has a share of second place. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. And choosing the eight iron here. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Shocking. A missed green in regulation. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Love watching this player around the greens. And stepping up the standings after that effort. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Well struck. Even for the day. Currently tied for top spot. We need this one to bounce right. Yep, that shot safely on the green. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? An 18 footer here is what he's facing. Ooh, right by the hole. Putting for a par now. Well hold. Let's move on. 
And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. He's currently tied for the lead. Uh-oh. This one's headed for the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Chance to get one under the card with this putt. This one's dialed in. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to one under. Still in the lead now after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Wonderfully played. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Oh, absolutely flushed. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Ooh. Just a short putt remaining here. Leading by a shot after that hole. We have a par three on this one. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Well, that's beautifully judged. Six feet remaining to the cup. Little birdie look in here. It was on a good line. Now uh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. <laughs> what kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. Not the result they were after there. A bit short with that effort. That's a well played chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well, a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Yeah, exciting position, isn't it? You'd rather have the lead on your own, but listen, tied for the lead, pretty good spot to be in. They're going to have to work to earn this victory. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Sitting at one under, in a share of the lead. Should find the green here. No green in reg, but a chance to save their par. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Currently one under for the event. This hole is a par three.
Going with the five iron here. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Always nice to have a birdie putt. And he holds it. What a putt. And that will take him to two under. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. That's nicely done. Around 110 yards to go. He leads the field by a stroke. That could play. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Not their best stroke. Seem to have pulled that one. Easy par, that. Currently in first position. And we've arrived at a par three. Yeah, that was a safe play. Standing over this one, and it's a very long putt. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Ouch, that hurts. A bogey putt awaits. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Now with the honour on a par five. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the 14. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Getting ready to play their third. Currently in the lead by a shot. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Luke, I gotta say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before. But I really can't remember when that was. Yeah, it's a common fault in putting. Pulled it slightly. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Uh, great shot. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out.
This looks to be heading to the green. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And that putt drops. Now one under, heading to the stretch. With just a small sliver of a lead, this could go any different direction down the stretch. This one should find the rough. Second shot here on the 16th. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. Just didn't drop. This one for bogey. And that'll drop him down to even par now. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Don't want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. Okay, steady now. Putting now for a bogey. Just one off the lead after that hole. And now teeing off on the final hole of this round. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. That was wonderfully done. Opting for the five wood. Needs this one to kick right. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. Not too sure what happened there. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake. Well, it all comes down to this. Make the putt to force a playoff. Wow, that would have been the win. And they can only sit back and watch the victor earn his spoils. And that wraps up proceedings in this one. Sometimes these are a tough one to take. So close to the win ultimately just a shot shy listen you can go back and look at a number of different shots throughout the course of the tournament and which one will you pick is the one that you would like to have back the most i mean choose one anyone but listen at the end of the day finishing one back it's a respectable finish it's beyond that it's a great finish but not the finish they were hoping for on behalf of myself rich beam and all the hard-working folks at 2k sports thanks for tuning in and see you next time
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Fellowship Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, no wins for this golfer, but they've been very consistent all season, keeping themselves inside that all-important top 25. Absolutely. They've been solid all year long, and it doesn't look like we will see them on the Corn Ferry Tour next year just because they should progress to the PGA Tour next year. No doubts about it in my mind. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. And the pine needles can always be a 50-50 lie. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Bit quick in the stroke. That looked pulled. Putting for a par here. So it'll be a par to start their round. Very nice par indeed. Very solid hole play. Here we are at the second tee. Oh, that was pure. Playing from around 210 yards here. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. And he's down there. You got a read? Has to put this one downhill. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. The putt drops. And we're moving on. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall. Here we are at the third. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Oh, so close. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Next up is this par four hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Not quite sure about the strike on that one. This could be heading towards the rough. And he's down there. Setting up this shot from about 120. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Looking really good, this one. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Going with the six iron here. Straight into the woodwork from that one. And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead. And he needs this to save par. That was a gallant attempt. 
Just three feet to the cup. This will be a good bogey. And down it goes. And a little slide down the leaderboard happening. Make sure you respond quickly. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, that one's bouncing around in the branches. Far from ideal. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Henny, what does that lie look like? Not the best tee shot, but they got lucky with this lie. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Chance to sneak into the top five here. Steady on. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Yeah, good job. Nice par. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Sitting at one over for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Next up is this two-shot hole. And from the bunker here. Well, the putt is going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. That'll sting a bit. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And in she goes. That's a good save. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. That's not what they were looking for. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. Top effort, that. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. Bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. Well, that's a handy shot. Well, Rich, isn't this a lovely sort of teaser for these players on the Corn Ferry Tour to be playing at the stadium course, which is known for the prestigious Players' Championship? They're almost getting a sense of what it might be like to be on the big stage. Exactly. However, there is one massive difference. You just don't have the number of fans out here like you would normally see it. That's what the biggest difference is this week. Still, they're going to feel a lot of pressure trying to close the deal, coming down 16, 17, and 18, no matter how many folks are watching. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. Back-to-back -back bogeys is never nice, but in she goes. And making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Sitting at three over for the event. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Absolutely tattooed that one. Penny, how bad is this lie? No, oh, this is just unfortunate. So close to the fairway, but sitting really down. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. That lie was so bad, I didn't think they'd be able to get it anywhere near there. Now that's how you roll the rock. And that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last. And he'll move into the top ten. 
He's currently tied for eighth. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. Time to tee off on the 11th. Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. That swing looked a little jerky from where I'm sitting. Uh, that was a little untidy, wasn't it? Straight into the water. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Looks like this one's bunker bound. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. Just put right on 10 feet. A good one to make. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that brings to an end that hole. And now at plus four for the round. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot at the 12. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. Now this one, this is important. This for par. Oh, he's up, Tiger. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Choosing the nine iron here. Needs this one to kick right. Always frustrated by missing a green. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Oh, just missed. Three feet to go here to the hole. Some damage limitation. This one for a bogey. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Sitting at seven over for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. And the effort, that one. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Where will this one end up? And here we are with the third shot. That's not the outcome they were after. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. This is their fifth shot. One just outside seven feet to the hole. Ooh. Uh, this putt coming up is for triple bogey. That's a good putt to make, that one. And that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on the leaderboard. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole.
Quality shot, that one. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. This one's going right at the pin here. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Nine feet to the cup. Well, that's criminal. How do you leave that short? I hate to use the word choke, Luke, but that's exactly what happened there. A flat out choke. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. That looked a little wayward. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. Getting ready to play their third. Nice recovery there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Left yourself an opportunity. Well, this will be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Five feet coming up to the cup. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's head to the final hole of this round. Absolutely tattooed that drive. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Had a fantastic drive. Just needs this one to kick right. Good shot there. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. It was on a good line. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. And that signs off on today's round. Well, Rich, I think it's fair to say that this player struggled with their game this week. Luke, not the performance they were looking for this week, but I got to say, there are some really good stuff in there that I like. It was really fun to watch. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.